Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sarah channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful finger weave out of just yarn, scissors, and your fingers. So I'm using this nice soft and comfortable yarn. I'm going to take the outer covering off and just get as much yarn as you need. Just do not cut it yet. You can position your hand like this with the yarn going in between your pinky and ring finger and then you're going to loop it over and under your fingers until each finger has two loops on it. Make sure that you remember it's two loops. And you put the lower loop over the upper loop and over your finger so that it goes to the back of your hand. And just slide it down when you're all done with that. And continue to weave in between your fingers and go over and under until you reach your desired length. And be sure to pull on the back every once in a while so that you can get it all stretched out and get more yarn as you need as well. And just keep doing this, as, as I said, until you get the desired length that you want. When you're all done, just give a little tug and then you're going to clip it, but leaving a little bit of string left. And just pull them all off onto your thumb, all the loops onto your thumb. And you're going to get that small little string that you kept on there and just put it in through those loops and kind of try to tie a knot. It doesn't really matter how you tie it as long as it's going to stay there. I just like to put it through the loops and then tie a square knot and then an extra square knot for extra security. So tie it super tight and then here comes my extra knot. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so then you're going to go to the other side and also just do that little square knot to secure it from getting loose or anything. And then you've got your finger weave. And if you want to save it for later because you're doing a big long project or you need to go somewhere real quick and you want to come back to it later, just remove the loops off your fingers like you did when you were finished, but just don't tie it yet. Put it onto your marker or stick or any kind of long skinny object so that you can have it for later. And when you're ready to start again, just take it off and put it on the fingers that they were on before and make sure that it is on the fingers that they were on before. Okay, and then you just keep weaving. And when you're all done, make sure that you stretch it out so that it has that really nice, pretty braid look. Then you have your finger weave. You can use it for an eye mask, for sleeping, or if you make it long enough, you can use it as a scarf or many other uses like a belt or a hair tie or even a wristband. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, please like and subscribe for new videos every Saturday. And also don't forget to check out my Sarah channel website, which has comics and quizzes and updates and stuff. And also don't forget to fill out the video ideas and requests form so that I can have lots of your ideas for my next video. Both of those links will be in the description box below, like always. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.